Hey, Zanny's back, and I got a competitive map for you guys. We have not had one of these in a while. This is called Scorch Palace. It was made by Mr. Delicious Man. Mmm, yummy. This is an asymmetric core map, and a uh, fun fact, asymmetric maps are actually my favorite type of competitive maps. I've made so many of them back in the Halo 4 days. Anyway, Scorch Palace here is to be played with Slayer, Capture the Flag, and Strongholds. The gameplay you'll be seeing is of Slayer. Now, some of you may have noticed, but this map actually uh, takes some aesthetics from the Buried City in Destiny, and you know what? I can see it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Buried City is the one with like all those like big aliens, right? The ones that look like they came straight out of Warhammer. I remember how satisfying it was to land headshots on those dudes. But you know what? I haven't played Destiny in over a year, not since the Dark Below DLC was launched. Although I'm pretty sure I'm thinking about the correct Buried City here. Anyway, um, on with the map here. From what you can see, there's this little trench that kind of runs the entirety of the map. And uh, on the sides of the trench are these tall buildings that act as power positions as you can see here this guy is getting a lot of kills and especially if you're in that top mid position because you can see a lot of the uh, bottom area of the map so you got that height advantage top mid can get countered though because while it's very open you have very little cover there you can get flanked pretty easily and your opponents can use some uh, high platforms with windows to fire back at you now that's really all I'm gonna say about the map's finer details about its layout because I'm not really sure if people are still interested in me uh, talking about like how the layout of the map was work how the uh, like power positions interact and all that because lately I've been thinking that that's maybe the point in a competitive map feature where people start to doze off I know that's where I start to doze off when I watch other forge youtubers uh, core map features so now I'm just gonna try this where I just give you guys the basic spiel about the map rather than getting into the uh, tiny nitty-gritty details that most people would probably not even pay attention to anyway before I leave you guys here with the rest of the gameplay I just wanted to bring up that this is the 96th map feature so only four more and we hit 100 map features in Halo 5 I'm pretty excited for that and when we hit that hundredth map feature we're gonna we're gonna have a serious talk about you know the future of this channel and such well as serious as I can make it because well this is still me we're talking about here anyway with all that out of the way I'll see you guys next time Bye bye boy